Hello, you guys. We are headed into Home Goods today. Make sure you comment down below before you watch this video. What is something that you found at Home Goods lately that has just blown your mind or been the cutest thing you've ever found? Something I want to know your guys' good treasure hunt finds. That's what I feel like Home Goods is, is a treasure hunt. I am actually looking specifically for pots and pans. You guys know I've been on the hunt for that. And I've been too stubborn to buy them at full price. I just keep looking at my Home Goods to see if they have them. And then other than that, I'm just going to be showing you what I think is cute. So let's head on in. I just walked in and they have all of their new spring planters out. They have some really fun ones. I love all the colors that they have, but I love these ones that are on the little like wooden stands. Looks like they're all around $20 is what I'm seeing. Um, this bigger guy is $30, but I love the textures. You can totally mix and match. And I feel like that would be so beautiful even indoors. Not necessarily, you wouldn't even necessarily have to put it like on a patio, but I also love this style, but I wish the blue and the white were reversed and it was more white. If you guys are into the farmhouse look, they have this cute little sign here. It says home with the little wreath in the middle for the O. I think it's adorable. $30 for that guy. It's pretty big. I think this pot is so cute. Love that it's on a wooden stand and it's kind of ombre down. I don't know how much it is though. It doesn't have a, let's see, $20. That is so cute. That would be such a cute little planter. If you guys are into Ray Dunn, my home goods has it completely stocked. Cute little Easter candy jar here, some mugs. Hot chick, love some bunny back there. Spring bunny, we've got some cute ones out. Oh, they even have like these little gift baskets out too. Just wanted to share they have coolers here. They have these carry ones and then up here they have the rolling cooler. I don't know, it might be a place to look. Every time I come into Home Goods, I just automatically want to throw a party because if you come down any of these aisles, especially in like the spring and summertime, they have all these things to like put out on your patio and you could easily host a bunch of people. I love this little cutlery set. It says it's by Sugar Plum Party, $12.99. It's got all your wooden spoons, knives, toothpicks, all that kind of stuff. You even have these cute drinking glasses. I think those are adorable. You get four of them for $8 just so many cute things that I'm like oh I could definitely throw a party with that theme so I'm in the cookware section and so far I've not found what I'm looking for I'm actually looking for all clad which I see every so often here they don't have any today but they do have a lot more options today which is amazing but I just don't want to skimp out on what we're trying to get here so just looking around seeing what else they've got this is where I got my cast iron pan actually and it's been great it was by the brand lodge but they have a ton of options today which is a stark difference from just a while ago when I was shopping during the holidays and literally everything was sold out and this is what I mean with like the little party stuff they have like all kinds of these little kids here just kind of hidden around the store you just have to look for them but like look at these little cupcake makers I think that's adorable $3.99 and that'll totally step up your party game random little find in the corner of the store here are these blanket ladders i've never seen a blanket ladder here before but it looks like they're about 50 bucks a piece which is not a bad deal i paid way more for mine and these are actually tall ones i'd say they're at least like six feet tall which i prefer taller i feel like it fills the space better mine is six foot tall as well but that's a great deal 50 bucks for these guys found these on a little end cap and I think they're so cute. <laughs> I might end up picking one up for Logie Bear, but they have these little role play sets here. This one's a chef. I can keep like the construction worker the best here. They're only $13 a piece. They have a doctor one too. Ooh, he might love that one too. He loves playing with the little hat that came with like his little construction truck. These are a great idea. Just walked by the dog section and these bowls are so cute. I love the outside of them and the wood on the bottom. I have a feeling they would be very hard to clean at $10, but they are cute and they have this little matching one here too. This one's a little bit smaller for $7.99. I always come down the rug aisles and I always get captivated by the blue ones. They have so many fun rugs here. Ones for like runners that you could do definitely like in front of your sink that are longer, but then also ones that go like right in front of your door as well. I'm serious, you guys. It's like a treasure hunt in here. You're just like hunting to see what you can find because sometimes the really good stuff is like tucked all the way back up in there. But I love these prints right here. I especially love this real textured one that is so pretty i've been on the hunt for a shower curtain that i am just like in love with and so far have not found one but i did find a few cute ones here that i i thought i'd share with you guys i think this one is pretty with like all the details at the bottom it reminds me of something like anthropology would carry this guy is 15 dollars. i've never heard of the brand before also love this one with the tassels on it i think that is so pretty 100 cotton so definitely don't dry it if you ever wash your shower curtains like we do but 16.99 they've got a few cute ones here i love to do texture with our shower curtains but they've got this like real bright one up here which would be cute for like a little girl's bathroom or this paisley type one 
I also have a ton of quilts here. This is where I got a few of my quilts and they have been in great shape ever since I bought them. But I thought this one was fun, $39.99. So basically $40 for a queen. I love the quilting on it, but I also love the little ruffled hem edge right down here. I think that's so pretty. We've got this guy too, which might be pretty like folded up at the end of your bed. It's by Nicole Miller, $50 for a full queen size. I love this yellow one, especially if you have like a printed bedspread or something with a bunch of color. It's by Moss and Willow. It's a king. Oh, it's a duvet cover set, but I feel like this would be really pretty folded at the end of your bed, especially for spring and summertime. Get these fun baskets that you could put in a little girl's room. I think that's adorable. They also have them up here. I love the tassels on them. I love like the outside of it. I personally would like a more neutral color in a basket like this, but it's so pretty. I have seen a few people talking about collapsible laundry baskets. For me personally, I never need a laundry basket that's collapsible because it's almost always filled but they do have these guys here which might be perfect for like your car or something like that i mean it's like a good idea for us it's not practical but maybe for some of you guys it is speaking of laundry baskets this one's huge they've got another one in there too but i love that it's on wheels and i think it's so cute what it says caught this guy out of the corner of my eye. I love these for setting up your bed. Clearly you don't really use these for like sleeping, but I don't know what the price is, but I love the neutral leopard texture. If you guys have young kids like Logan's age, this is where I get all of our books and they've all been in amazing condition. They're all new and it's a lot of books that you can find at your basic bookstore. They have a really low stock right now of books and not a big selection. As you can see, there's like a lot of the same book, but I did find two little things. So I I saw these animal magnets by Melissa and Doug. Thought these might be perfect for the fridge. I found this pop-up peekaboo farm book for $6.99, which he usually loves these ones. So this one was super cute. Back to the home decor section. This is a cute little sign. Welcome to our home. I love the writing, especially in the welcome. $30. I feel like that's not a bad deal. I've paid a lot more for signs that have writing on it like that. They've also got some other fun stuff here too. As you guys probably guessed, they have a ton of Easter stuff here lots of baskets lots of things to fill their baskets with which i love i think that's so fun i love easter time because it's just like a new springtime you know this book's cute peep peep i love you 5.99 they've got these little eggs that are filled with play-doh yellows and blues that's like all i'm seeing throughout the entire store it must be the new color for this season but they've got this cute little ray dunn pillow queen b for 16.99 have the bunny kisses and easter wishes this guy's like a big body pillow for 25 dollars they've got some fun little stuff here totally depends on your style but they have so many different styles just saw this quilt that somebody left out. I think it's gorgeous. I love the stonewashed look of it. $40 for a queen size by the brand Rachel Zoe. I showed you guys all the statement chairs last time. They have this guy in stock, which looks like it's got like a little dirty scuff on it, but $2.99 for that one. I love the color scheme of these. They're almost like a light blush pink, almost, but they're all, they're kind of ivory as well. They've got a little bit of rose gold in them, but they're $199 a piece. I don't love how short they are, but that might be exactly what you need for that spot. I don't know, but I love the print. Also love this deep navy color. Again, don't love how short they are, but that would definitely be a statement piece with all that gold. Cute little shelf to style here. Personally, this is too short for my liking. I bet it's probably around four feet, but hundred dollars i do love the color scheme though with that matte black and then you have like this lighter almost like teak wood if you will we've got a cute a bunch of cute little styling shelves though that you can do with i love this lighter wood that's coming into style right now lots of mirrors here too whenever i have space for a large floor mirror i will definitely be coming here because they have so many options for a great price this is exactly what i was talking about with that like floor length mirror this one's huge and it's only 80 dollars you guys like this one's probably mm, six maybe even seven feet tall dang oh he's getting big but they have even smaller ones over here i have gotten asked before where our mirrors are that are next to our bed i will try and like show that to you guys on instagram too but those are from here and they were super cheap and they're still gorgeous and timeless i love this one too like how modern it is with the like thin wood for 60 bucks also a great place to come for like statement art pieces. This one's already completely framed and everything for a hundred dollars. That's insane because framing itself can be way more than a hundred dollars, but they have a ton of artwork here. These are pretty too for $60.
fun leather couch here. Again, too short for my liking. I like things that fill the space more and they're a little bit taller. Um, it just makes your space look a lot bigger, but I do love the color and I love the richness of it and the different textures that are going on. I don't even see a price on it though. So maybe, you know, if it was free, I definitely wouldn't complain. Love this tufted one over here too. I feel like I never see it tufted on the seat like that with the plain back, but I think that's really cool. $800. If you have a backyard set that needs new cushions, they also sell those here. I remember always coming to these places and looking with my mom for like outdoor cushions during the summer. And we found some really good ones here. Like they have these Tommy Bahama ones that comes with a big old pillow and a big like thick seat cushion for $50. I've showed you guys this before, but they do have UGG stuff that comes in here every once in a while, which, which tends to be pretty soft. So they have these queen and king comforter sets here right now. They're like a pinky kind of mauve color. It's really not coming across on camera very well, but that's what it looks like. It's striped. They also have this really pretty Nicole Miller one. But I think what's getting me is like the gold. I think I like the gold on the outside of it, but like they, this one, they've got this UGG all season comfort is what it says. Comforter set comes with a comforter and two shoes. Also love this one. This one is by Artesian New York, I guess. $60 for a three-piece comforter set. You cannot beat that. This one is so pretty too. Three-piece king comforter set. It's just so pretty. I love the texture of it. So just what I was saying about those outdoor pillows, all of these pillows in this entire aisle are outdoor pillows. And most of the time I found that they come in a pack of two, which is awesome. But I love all the different prints and some of them aren't super cheesy. Like sometimes outdoor pillows can be like this striped set could be totally chic on your patio for sure. I can see exactly what I would do with that, but a two pack for $16.99. They also have just some plain, oh, I guess they're not plain, like some more solid looking colors rather than like all the watercolor prints, which actually I don't mind the watercolor prints, but just in case you're looking for something a little different. Also Ralph Lauren always has something a little more like contemporary looking in my opinion. And these guys are $16.99 a piece gorgeous striped color. I love that. So this would be more the height that I would be looking at for like a shelf styling. I am 5'5 five five, and this guy is at least six foot tall right behind me. Pretty tall. I don't love the color for my home. It just wouldn't go anywhere in my home, but I like things that fill the space again. So like take into account like the height of your ceilings because even if your ceilings are a lot taller than even six feet is not going to look very big in there but I just walked by these mustard, almost mustard, almost rust, almost like Austin, Texas orange pillows. And I think they're actually really cute. Love the texture on them, but I can't see a price, but I do love this one right above it too with all the texture in it. Speaking of some cute outdoor cushions, you guys, if I had an outdoor anything, <laughs> like table or anything that I was trying to set up, I would definitely be buying these. Set of two for $20 by Tommy Bahama. Love the print. You guys know I love the leopard print, but I even love this spot leopard print that's kind of coming into style right now. I think that is so cute. Didn't even see this. I'm right by the front door, but I didn't even see this when I walked in. This is a gorgeous table. I love this. It's an outdoor table, obviously, and it is thousand dollars and you get four chairs and the table that is so pretty love this little cozy blanket right here i am a sucker for anything with tassels because i love the texture that it brings they have a bunch of like rosy mauve i think that's also the tone that's coming out for this season lots of pinks and yellows and blues and I have to be honest, I used to be someone who only wanted neutral colors in my home and now I'm starting to grow out of that. I think I'm growing more towards like adding color back in and fun and just like pops of color everywhere. That being said, it's not happening at a very fast pace, but I have ideas for when we do move in to our new home <laughs> eventually. Love this gray heathered rocker. It's almost like in between heathered and tweed, $300, but I love the color of it. They even have this fun lamp up there. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. And with the green behind it, I think the green goes really well with that. We're coming in to the lighting section here and I feel like you can find the most unique lighting in here and not for very much, honestly. This is also where we got our side table lamps. I love this marble look right here with very modern with like a square lampshade. And then I also thought this one was very pretty with almost like mercury glass or like that pink older vintage gloss. 
with a white lampshade. I like that they come with lampshades too <laughs> because I don't like having to figure out like what would look good with it in my opinion, but they have so many options here. Lots of nautical type stuff too, I found. If you're into like a nautical theme in your home, they have so many of those here. So for instance, this lamp is really small. I know it doesn't look very small, but these are all kind of smaller lamps right in this section. And that would be such a statement piece on a side table. Even on like our playroom table that we have in there on like the shelf, that would be the perfect size and the perfect little statement in there. I have no idea how much it is because they don't put the prices very easily to see on these lamps, but I think that's so cute. Love these lamps too. It's almost like a farmhouse type look and it says they have a built-in USB port. That's kind of cool. But this is like an oatmeal type shade and then down here is glass with like a matte black. I don't know it's just really cool. $50 a piece. They're definitely statement pieces. I think I'm walking out of here today empty-handed. There was nothing that I would like absolutely had to have but I feel like that's part of being on a budget is that you don't just buy things to buy things which I used to do and instead you save the money up until you find something that you really love and then you have the money to buy it. Also just saw these lamps. They're super pretty almost like a mercury glass type thing, $50 a piece. Love the rounded stem or base or whatever you would call that. Ooh and this one's really pretty too so gorgeous anyways thank you guys for hanging with me if you made it this far in the video make sure you leave an emoji down below and i will see you guys next time bye